code is published and made available to the public, enabling anyone to copy, modify, and redistribute the source code without paying royalties or fees. That is just that sounds ah, is, is it true? I mean, yes, it is true. Open source code evolves through community cooperation. That means, let's say I developed a code and somebody copied it. They had an idea, okay, if I change the code a little bit, I think it can perform better or it can do some more things. Or, okay, why not add this feature to this code? You know, that might help, you know, some specific people like this. Or, why not make it more effective? Why not add one more feature? Uh, you know, those kind of a things. So open source code evolves through community cooperation, the community of open source. These communities are composed of individual programmers as well as very large companies. And I say very large companies, that is Novell, Red Hat, Canonical.com. Individual programmers might be you, I'm not, because I don't know any real programming language. Okay, so examples of open source software products are FreeBSD, that is operating system derived from Unix. It's a Unix-based operating system, just like Sun Solaris, Linux or Linux operating system based on Unix. Mm. That's not a surprise. Linux is based on Unix, of course, and it will always be compatible to Linux. I'm sorry, Unix. Eclipse software framework for rich client applications. Apache. HTTP web server and a Tomcat web server web container don't worry about them just go through it I mean you don't have to remember all these okay Mozilla Firefox a web browser everybody knows it Mozilla Thunderbird email client open office.org office suite open solaris I mean there's in Sun Solaris you have open a uh, version of just like open office.org has their uh, commercial version star office the same way Sun Solaris has its open source version that is Open Solaris. Just like Red Hat has its Fedora and SUSE Linux Enterprise SUSE Enterprise Linux has its open source. And then we have Media Wiki, Wiki Server Software, the software that runs Wikipedia. Drupal, our content management system. Okay, now six computer hardware, open source hardware here. Somebody has designed a new technology, a new kind of a hard drive maybe, or a new kind of a cable uh, for computers where, which can transfer data. But instead of you know, patenting it and you know, making a lot of money out of it, what they do is they give it out. They tell everyone, okay, here how we can do it. So that you now anyone can use that idea and develop it and go ahead you know, and use it without you know having to worry about the royalties, patents, lawsuits and some things like that. Sun Microsystems OpenSpark you know, that was a T1 multi-core processor. Sun has released it under the GPL. Okay. And now we have Arduino, a microcontroller platform for hobbyists, artists and designers. Open Design, uh, that's another software and teaching which involves applying the concepts of open source to instruction using a shared web space. Best example would be YouTube. You will find a lot of you know how to do videos there, how to cook, how to make up, how to create backups. Or what I'm doing now is also a part of a teaching, right? Open teaching. Open source principles can also be applied to technical areas other than computer software, such as digital communication protocols and data storage formats. For in for instance, the Indian development computer, you know it. Anyway, here is a self-explanatory chat for the open source. On top, you have freedom. That means in the entire loop, you have the entire freedom. Then you have at the center GNU Linux or BSD. That is the GNU Linux is under every ho Linux hood. Under the hood, you will find GNU Linux. That means most of it is derived from the GNU Linux project. Then you have a community, that means a community which uses it, develops it, or pay a number of people who are associated with it. And if you need support for the these softwares, you know, this community will help you. You just Google it, there are many blogs like LinuxQuestions.org where you can go and you know and ask for help. And 
there are many developers who are associated you know who are in community or who are also involved in GNU Linux and uh, they will also give you support they modify the new codes and they up uh, they release updates for it and then you know those updates will be involved in the future versions of you know your future versions of uh, GNU Linux then you have uh, graphical digital art that is just an application you have a lot of users like me okay and who are also support because I came across a problem and uh, somebody else come across same problem I will give him a solution through this okay I use all the tools from here in that operating system that was distributed to me okay you just go through this chart it is in w Wikipedia I mean most of the stuff or almost all of it I got it from Wikipedia and I'm not ashamed to say that I'm proud media open source journalism refer to the standard journalistic techniques of news gathering and fact checking and reflected a similar term that was in use from 1992 in military intelligence circles open source intelligence that means sharing intelligence all right sharing the media not just restricting it to yourself but you know sharing it uh, with others too so that no they can also share it with you what you don't know it is now commonly used to describe forms of innovative publishing of online journalism rather than the sourcing of news stories by a professional journalist in the december 25 2006 issue of time magazine i know has acknowledged it right so i mean best examples i think the blogs articles animated high definition movies like an elephant's dream a youtube i mean I've written not sure because I don't think you will agree with it, but yes, it is free. You don't have to pay for it. Okay, YouTube, you can upload high definition movies. Size can be like, oh my god, I mean, 1 GB, I think now. I mean, they have a limit of 10 minutes is the uh, length, but you can upload, I mean, n number of videos, and there is no bar on the size too. And they will pay you if you are I mean if your uh, videos are good or viewed by others and appreciated by others I mean that's something really really good then we have education last but not the least examples my and others training videos on YouTube or articles on Wikipedia there you go okay now open source software OSS is computer software for which the source code and certain other rights normally reserved for copyright holders are provided under software license that meets the open source definition or uh, that is in the public domain that means open source software when I say it, it's like we have uh, openoffice.org where the source code for the software will be you know, freely available to anyone freely available without any strings that attached to it you can modify it you can modify it and add some features to it you can sell it commercially or you can redistribute it you can do all that kind of stuff and you don't have to pay a single penny to anyone a report by a standish group states that adoption of open source software models has resulted in savings of about 60 billion dollars per year to consumers that is something you should <laughs> remember or you should and you know, not neglect I'll, I'll i'll give you an example here for example right now uh, uh, whenever a uh, novel okay or whenever uh, they want to release a new version of open source they always include some interesting features interesting programs that are available in the market or in the you know open source community so once uh, you know they include that a lot of people use the open source so what they will do is they will use those programs if they come across any problems they will you know ask for community help somebody will help them somebody will fix them somebody will develop a patch and then okay the makers of open source say that okay this is the this software is mature now all the issues have been fixed we know all the bugs and okay let's patch it and uh, let's uh, you know since you know, it is also very much useful for business customers let's include this in you know SUSE enterprise linux so they include it in the enterprise version of that same software uh, and that is paid and the same is a Fedora and Red Hat story. It is the same. Then we have open source definition is used by the open source initiative to determine whether or not a software license can be considered open source. The definition was based on the Debian free software guidelines. The 
written and adapted primarily by Bruce's parents. Free redistribution.